1982, Min Tai won the first ever Rubik's Cube World Championship with a time of 22.95 seconds. This time would be considered quite slow by today's standards, but it was a world record that stood for over 20 years and was the high point of the early days of cubing. Later on, he published a book named The Winning Solution, detailing exactly how he solved it. So how did he? In 1979, Min Tai came to the US from Vietnam and spoke no English when he arrived. A week after buying the cube, he could solve it in under two minutes, and in 1981, he won the US Championship with a best time of 26.04 seconds. First prize was a trip to the World Championship and $2,000. The next year, he arrived in Budapest and managed to beat the competition to secure the top spot with a new world record of 22.95 seconds. Incidentally, this solve was the only world record in history which wasn't a CFOP solve. It was Corner's first. Corner's first methods were by far the most common back in the 80s, as they were very easy to come up with and they were quite logical. There are so many variations of Corner's first methods that it will be hopeless to go through all of them in a single video, so I'll just show you the method that Min used as well as a reconstruction of the winning solve. His method was eventually published as the winning solution, so fortunately we can study it today. Firstly, he would solve the four corners in the bottom layer paying no attention to the centers. Flipping the cube over, he would then solve the corners of the last layer before moving on to the edges of the top and bottom layers. Finally, he would finish the last four edges before solving the centers. This is probably the most common corners first method that there is. Mintai stepped up onto the stage in Budapest and on the second cube, he saw this. The orange corners were easiest, so he solved those first along with the first layer edge. Before moving on to the other corners, he solved another first layer edge along with its center. Then he solved the last layer corners before working on the rest of the edges. One edge, two edges, three edges, four edges. The last six edges were solved at the same time due to a lucky skip. Four centers needed to be solved and then he was done after 22.95 seconds. The actual competition back then was fascinating as it had so many of the features that a modern competition has. It had a 15 second inspection time. The concept of taking multiple times to solve the cube was introduced. Having all competitors solve the same scramble to be extra fair. The scrambles themselves were generated by computer. One interesting thing, however, was that unlike all modern competitions, the cubes were actually supplied by the ideal toy company, not the competitors themselves. Presumably this was to make sure that no competitor had an unfair advantage with a better cube, but that obviously doesn't really matter. Min Tai hasn't been seen at a competition since. He made comments before the 2003 championship that not many people would break his record, but it ended up being broken over 50 times. Recently, a video emerged showing him solving the cube in 2015. He's rusty, but he hasn't lost his spark. His time will go down in the record books as one of the most iconic times in history.